This will be episode 171. In 170, we talked about eggs for Andrew. We talked about ketchup. We talked about sports, not sports names. We talked about Andrew's sleep struggles. We talked about chicken musings. Uh, we talked about Jeff's supplemental idea. We talked about Sinead O'Connor and Stevie Nicks. But uh, we had a lot of talk about potato smileys. So that was all last time. That was 170. Now we're on 171. Sounds like a real zazzler of a show. It definitely (laughs) zazzled. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. Last I checked with me, as always, we got Andrew Panton. We got Gavin Free. That's not it. We also have Nick and Eric and Gracie as well. They're they're out there in the ether somewhere listening in. This is episode 171. Andrew already promised it's going to be a zazzle of an episode. Let Mm -hmm. me hit you with the first potato fact of the day. Did you know that in the 13th century in the Andes, the Incans used potatoes as currency? I didn't know that. Now you do. Wow. All right, share your potato facts. So, like, if you if you robbed a bag of chips, that that'd be like robbing a bank essentially. That's like a duffel bag of money. Hundred percent. In Interesting. Time. I don't want to step on anybody else's potato facts because I'm sure you guys have them ready, ready to, sure to fire. Uh, but an interesting second potato fact that I read today is that nobody knows how potato chips were invented. Not really. There's a lot of rumors. But there's no actual concrete evidence. They just they just exist. I heard that the reason why the Mayans stopped the calendar is because somebody stole a bag of potato chips from the area. They all pursued. You know what? Dude. You know what? And that was the last anyone had, had ever seen it. Andrew, I've got some supporting evidence for that, actually, now that you mention it. Uh, I wasn't talking about the Mayans. I was talking about the Incans. But they said at the time, potatoes held a lot of value because aside from being a great food source, they were also used for medical treatments and possibly to predict the weather and... To measure time. Really? Like a like a clock or like long... A potato clock, yeah, I guess. Huh. Yeah. Maybe they would measure like how long till they went bad or something. And then like when a potato went bad, they knew it was like it had been a week or something. I don't know. <laughs> huh. who, who knows? Those mysterious Incans, but yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll meet believed. you when the potato's green. <laughs> <laughs> That's what... <laughs> Makes total sense. <laughs> well, hey, Gavin, welcome back. Oh, thanks. <laughs> nice. Are you here, Gav? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure yeah. you're here? Oh, big time. I, I was all of you have, do you have anything to contribute? <laughs> what here's, what, here's what was going to happen. I thought I was going to be asked for a potato fact. So I leant down to grab a tot because I'm munching on some tots oh. here. And I was going to, my fact was going to be this is what a tot sounds like. <laughs> is that but a then fact? You said, uh, then you said. <laughs> Something about being back, and I was like, oh, I've got a tot in my mouth now. I mean, I, you can do that as your fact, I guess. I don't... Uh. Yeah, okay. Here's my fact. This is what a tot sounds like. Great. Good job. Yeah, could not Killed hear it. Killed it. Fantastic. <laughs> you, it never sound ever comes through for you, so... But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's a Discord issue. I'm sure it sounds great in Audacity, or whatever you uh, use. Jeff, what did you think word. of the smile fries? Oh, I haven't had them yet. <laughs> oh, there was so much excitement around the smile fries. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, of course. I forgot about them the second after we stopped recording. They're in my freezer still. I'll try to cook oh. them tonight. I got well, I got I got some I got some work I got to do tonight. I'll try to cook them tomorrow. I don't believe you. You don't believe that they're in the fri- they're in my freezer? Yeah, I think smile fries is going to go a while. I think it'll be probably I'm going to say 3 weeks from now you have some smile fries. That's uh cuz as soon as we stop recording, smile fries is going out of your brain. No, yeah, I'm not going to remember them. 100%. After. Yeah. As soon as I take my headphones off, they, they don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Nick wants me to drop. Mm, you know what? No, I, I'm, I'm tempted to, Nick, but I'm, I'm having some. <laughs> I don't want to say it. No. I'm having, <laughs> no. I'm just having, I'm just having, some, I'm just having no. some oven issues right now. So What's wrong know. with your oven? You're not. What do you mean? <laughs> I, turned, I turned my oven on the other day and it, the house, I smelled some gas, so I turned it back off. I haven't had a chance. Oh, to, no. I haven't had a chance to look into it yet, but. Uh, so you yeah. just haven't oh. used your oven? Oh, no. no, no, I've been using, I can use my stovetop, no issues there, but when I turn the oven on, yeah, I noticed it was. Uh, so you have a pronounced. gas leak, but only to the oven? Uh, yeah, and only if I turn it on. Yeah, plus I got an air fryer. <laughs> and and uh, listen, I got windows <laughs> to fix. I got a wedding. I don't have time for, I don't have time for oven problems, so. I'm just not going to use my oven for a while. The oven just doesn't <laughs> exist. It exists. It's just not. not well, in a it essentially way. doesn't. Yeah. Andrew, how often do you use your oven? Oh, quite a bit. Throwing pizzas in there. Throwing uh, pizzas in there. 
<laughs> so what, what's ever stopped you from getting a little pizza oven in the old in the old bedroom there? Ooh. Well, it's, it's too big. Oh, the pizza oven? No, a, two, a pizza oven isn't too big. I have a microwave, I think, would go ahead of a pizza oven. Are you sure? What do you microwave? Hot pockets. <laughs> Hot pockets, I guess. Uh, popcorn? What do you eat more, popcorn or pizza? A pizza, for sure. 100% pizza, so, yeah. So I would pick up I'd one of these puppies for $50. Wow. Ooh. What's that? It's the Carnival Dang. King uh, CPO12 stainless steel <laughs> countertop pizza snack oven. 120 volts, 1,450 watts. You can pick it up for $59.99. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. 1,450 deal. watts. Damn. And That's it specializes pizza in pizza? Yeah, it's all it does. Well, I mean, look at the shape of it. What else do you could put in there? I bet you could. I bet you could roll out a hot pocket and put it in there. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean anything. Fries. I could probably cook some smile fries in there. I assume. In there? Yeah. Why not? You know how like you know how sometimes when you when you pull something out of your pocket, like I got a new phone case for my phone because it's disintegrating, and now Uh uh, it's like kind of rubber. So now when I pull it out of my pocket, my pocket comes out inside out. Do you think anybody's (laughs) ever tried to cook a hot pocket inside out? Oh, well, like put a phone in it first and then pull the phone out. Yeah, and then pull the phone out. Like invert a hot pocket, like a... I don't know. Like so many pants pockets. Has anyone ever needed a hot pocket? What do you mean? Like Oh, like a literal all hot the pocket. Time. To keep food warm in your pocket. I sure. swear to God, if you put my face in your pocket, we're done. The show's Why would over. I put your face in it? Because the last time this happened, you had a cold face and then the pant line happened. Oh, uh. <laughs> What was the so, response? They went on sale. They, do you want? Can I talk about that? Can I? Can I take us on a little bit of a journey? Oh, I yeah. I have something to share, and it's a little, it's a little embarrassing. Uh, but I feel like that's the the best place to share that type of info is this show. Um, so I've been I've been doing rooster teeth stuff for a while, as you know, and uh, one of one of my my favorite things the company does. I think this is a really great event they do. At the end of every year, they do a big like ceremony. Everyone gets together and they give out these big cock trophies to people that like have done exceptional work. And it's not like a competitive thing. It's like, ah, oh, you've done really good this year. Here's uh, an acknowledgement of your tough work. I just think that's nice. I've never won one. I assume, have you guys won one? I wouldn't be shocked if most of the people here have won one of these cock trophies. Cock trophy? Yeah, they give them out at the end of the year. I've never seen one. I've, I've won a Rooster Teeth Excellence Award at the end of the year or whatever. I don't think it was called a cock trophy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have cock on them, don't they? Don't they say cock? I mean, they have a... Hold on, let me look. It's in my office. <laughs> I'm pretty it's sure it's a cock, cock trophy. It was, uh, it's, the, it's the cock bite award. I... It's, oh. I, I haven't, yeah, exactly. Uh, I haven't, yeah, I haven't won one, Blaine has, and he broke it. So that, that's why I know what it is. <laughs> I won one in 2018, and I don't think we call wow, it Wow, man, that congratulations, anymore. dude. That's really <laughs> thanks, cool. Thanks. That's awesome. Five, very cool. Five years ago, I won one. I don't think they call it the Cockbite Trophy they anymore, don't. though. They don't. No, not yeah. anymore. Yeah. Well, what about the, okay, well, we rebranded and we got rid of the teeth. I thought we were all cock now. Still okay. cold rooster we're, teeth, though. This is not, I don't like this. <laughs> I thought Warwick doesn't like this. It's just the rooster. This is the opposite of a Zazzle conversation. Yeah, what? No. I don't, like, wh- why, wh- what, are, what are you Listen, driving at, I suppose? I'm getting here, okay? Well, just give me a minute. I'm getting to, I've always wanted, <laughs> every year, there's a part of me, and this is the embarrassing part, there's every year I think, maybe I'll win one of these cock trophies. That I keep seeing. <laughs> People are really excited about them. They're proud of it. They look great. And it's just a nice, it's a nice little gesture. They rotate them out. I've never won one. I don't think I even technically can win one. What would you win one for? Uh, just excellence in my field. I, <laughs> yeah. I feel. Yeah. Just general uh, good vibes. Bringer of good <laughs> vibes, maybe. Um, all sorts of options I could win. But anyway, I, I decided I want to make more of an initiative to try to win one of these things. Because the year is almost over. We're getting close to like, it's just, you got to pick up the slack. <laughs> September's right around the corner. So I decided to attend... An all hands meeting because I thought that putting my hands in the mix, showing I'm a real company guy, group effort. I'm going to attend one. I looked, I think I've been invited to around 85 all hands meetings wow. at my time being here. So if I attended this one, which I did, I would, uh, it, would it would be my first. The first all hands. I've skipped every all hands for people that don't know. The all hands meeting 
is like a company wide meeting. You're supposed yeah, you're to not supposed at. to skip it. Yeah, oh yeah, you're not supposed. Well, no one's ever oh, said that, that. Yeah. Well, I mean, the all hands kind of implies all hands on board. I'll I'll put the I'll put this in your review. It's fine. That's ah, great. <laughs> kind of it's, it's how we disseminate important information. Well, what's important to note in the review, Eric, is I attended one. I finally made one, missed eighty five of them prior. And I got to say, I, I, I don't feel like I was missing much necessarily from what I saw, but there's, you know, important updates for people. They're talking about things. <laughs> it's nice. We're going through different sections. Uh, we go through uh, business stuff, and then there's some other stuff. And then we get to the merch, and the merch is a fun one. We love the people in merch. They're great. And uh, the guy opens the merch thing. He's dressed as a pumpkin. It's really, it's like the energy's really picking up in this, this stream. This is great. And he's going through. The guy in the meeting was a pumpkin? It's it was Jeff Yatter. He dresses yeah. up for every all hands. This oh, would all something. this would all make sense to you if you were there, Gavin. <laughs> yeah. Well, he oh, I would know. I didn't know he dressed up for every one. That's interesting. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So he's dressed up and he's going through. Has did anyone else go to the last all hands? Or am of I the course. only one? I was there. Jeff was there. You were there. Okay. Well, then you might know I'm where there this every, is going. I'm there every goddamn all hands because I'm oh, supposed look at to you. be. No wonder you won a trophy <laughs> five years ago. Look at that. Exactly. That's a great record by you. <laughs> So I'm watching this thing, and it goes to the merch category, and they, they say, oh, it's the Halloween. We're looking at everyone's Halloween merch. So they're going through different brands. They show, and they got, like, some stuff. I, I guess I shouldn't spoil what other brands are going to release. Yeah, thing. Please, no, you but definitely but please do not but, spoil. But there's yeah. different brands, and there's, you, <laughs> you see ghosts and pumpkins and all that. All the Halloween stuff you would expect, and they're going through it. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. I like Halloween. This is fantastic. And then he, he says... And last but not least, faces Halloween stuff. Gavin, are you? Have you seen our Halloween merch? No. Are you aware of the fact that we have Halloween merch? I wasn't. You weren't. Yeah, neither was I. So I'm watching this, and I'm like, oh well, what's this? I didn't know we we're doing Halloween stuff. He says, and last but not least, faces Halloween merch. The Panton Collection. They fucking put me <laughs> in the Halloween category. That fuck that was so that's such an attack. I'm shocked by this. That's bullshit because it's just meant for everyday cold face use without being intimidating. So what happened there is he was making a joke. It's obviously not a part of the Halloween collection. He was just being silly because it's a mask and people wear masks at Halloween. Oh. Yeah, but kind of but like this... all the pictures that Eric is putting up in the chat. Okay, right. before before you, you throw this down the hole, Jeff. They bring up the pant collection. When you're in one of these all hands, there's a chat that people can write into that pops up on the screen. And everyone's going, oh, the monstrosity. Oh, look at this horrendous <laughs> face. Look at the burn. This should burn. This is a terrible thing. And I'm watching this go, Jesus Christ, this is my first all hands. I've missed 85 of these. I got the whole company shitting on me. Like it is, it is a monstrosity, but technically speaking, it's still just a photo of my face. <laughs> And all these people, oh, burn, Frankenstein. We got Frankenstein on sale listen, over here. Listen, Frankenstein, I think you have a lovely face. But if I, and, and you know who else has a lovely face? Gavin. Gavin has a lovely face. But if we made a mask, a balaclava of Gavin and wore it, it would be hideous and disgusting. And people would throw rocks at him. It's I just, when you, when you stretch a face over your face, it's shocking. <laughs> Watching people's lips come through, like some people you can see, you can tell that the mask is really tight and the lips are just bulging. And I think my favorite part is if there's any facial hair on the real, like above the real lips, it's very obvious because the facial hair ends on the mask and becomes <laughs> like skin and then goes back it's to back being to a facial real. Yeah. It's still, it's essentially, it's the claim that my face belongs in a Halloween town is how I took it. It was very fun. Just the idea that all this is Halloween merch, and then August twenty fifth, the the last part of the Halloween collection. Me, well, Andrew Panton. Let me collection. say this. Let me say this, Andrew. If this helps, uh, success is the best revenge. And your Andrew Panton collection sold out in about forty five minutes. And uh, I don't think any of those other collections will sell out. Um. I personally think that we need to be more discerning about who's coming to the all hands meeting. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm not getting invited? You're going to go to, you're going to, we're going to look into revoking some one? invitations. <laughs> yeah. I just think like, you know, you got to like, if they're not coming anyway, you know, just weed them out and like, well, listen, I you know, showed up. You don't get the invite. 
I should have. I didn't anticipate a company roasting. Look, if, if we're going to shit on Andrew Panton every all hands, I'll be there. <laughs> okay. That's what it takes for you to be there? Oh, That's man. amazing. Yeah, if we do... <laughs> We just had a little section at the end. The segment <laughs> ended, Gavin, with with Jeff was wearing this pumpkin mask. Other Jeff, not other not Jeff. Jeff, not Jeff me. was wearing a pumpkin mask, and he took it off to reveal he was wearing my face mask and yelled, "He should return to the pits of hell where he came from." That's me. <laughs> That's just me. That's just. <laughs> I'm a person. <laughs> now, here's the thing. If you look at the images that I've posted, no, I wouldn't to, say yeah, that fair. I wouldn't say that you need to go to hell, but I will say that P if you're wearing this mask, maybe <laughs> <laughs> hell ain't a bad place to be. <laughs> so you're not wrong, and I get it, but I, I just, uh, you know, I learned, I think from the experience I took away, maybe the all hands aren't for me. Maybe I'm not supposed <laughs> to be here. <laughs> but... <laughs> well, if that, you were troubled by that one, you would have hated the previous 85 because they went easy on you this month. <laughs> oh, <laughs> With that being man. said, I still want to win one of these cock awards that I've been seeing for years. I'm well, excited maybe about you'll it. make it in the... Uh, when do they do it? December? I have Nick nominate you. Yeah, do you well, know how that works? If your producer thinks you do a really, really good job, he, can, he or she can nominate you. Well, I, okay, well, this, I'm glad that you know we're here and this is a public platform. I know some people at the company watch this show. So I made... A little presentation on why I deserve to win one of these cock awards that I'd love to share with you guys. <laughs> we Please still do. haven't gonna... even gotten your potato fact. We're really so I'm gonna... getting deep dived. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'll just uh, I'll share my entire screen, I guess, because why not? Oh, sweet. I think that cock award is in your pocket for 20. I'm feeling you that good cock about it in your pocket. Right. You're still using the browser version. I, of course, I always use the browser version. Are we all good? Why Andrew okay. deserves a cock. Why, Why Andrew... Uh, that's loading. Why Andrew deserves a cock, a humble but factual presentation. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm compiling this. I, I think I make some persuasive... There's around 10 points in this that I feel are pretty persuasive. First point, I have hands. Not a requirement. I just wanted to clarify oh. due to my lack of all hands appearances. Those are not but, my hands. Those are just hands. Those aren't just hands. Those, those are giant thumb just, hands. Those aren't just hands. <laughs> well, we talked about long thumbs in the past. I felt it was a, a comfortable time to, to put some, some long thumbs in there. And I just, I mainly just want to say, hey, I know I haven't had my hands in the huddle, but I do have hands. I am, I'm, I'm willing to help. I'm a team guy. That I'm a one, company guy. That left hand has a cocaine fingernail. Does it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah you're right. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Point number two. No priors, as you can see my criminal record to the right. <laughs> Zero child kickings reported. <laughs> didn't that? do just... nothing. Looking at my criminal record, there's nothing there. It's blank. I didn't do anything. I'm an innocent, <laughs> honorable man. I've done nothing wrong. You... And I think that's important on, to show. Wait, you didn't... You, you think that you should win an award because you didn't do nothing criminal-wise? Well, I'm just I'm saying I'm a good representative. Okay, there's no stuff in my past or no background, skeletons whatever. in his closet. Exactly, it's clean. Now Raymond no so Mayor, don't look into that. Dude. Whoa, Johnny yeah, Caviar. Right. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. But he's not trying to win a cock award. This is Andrew Pant trying to win a cock award. <laughs> Point number three. I subscribed to Game Kids. I su oh, supported this God. company. And a wife you did. Okay? I was there on the front lines. I went to the fucking panel at RTX. I showed up. I supported. Hands on deck, as some may say. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. This may have been a successful brand if there were more people like me. Uh-huh. Point number four. I am an honorable man. I never subscribed to Game Kids, but it's pretty cool that I admitted that. I didn't have to. You all would have just assumed that was true. Oh, uh, yeah. I, we couldn't verify that. Yeah. Yeah, what I know. You wouldn't know that. I'm an honorable man. I should have. <laughs> it was a mistake by me. No disrespect to you, Jeff, the channel and all that. I know. You, listen, <laughs> it was great. I enjoyed no it disrespect. for what it was. <laughs> uh, it, hey, it, it, filled a, it, it served its purpose at the time. It did. It was great. Point number five. Who, look at that. Who do you see there? Uh, Jerry West. Uh -huh. Jerry West. NBA logo, everybody knows. He's won lots of awards, recognized, respected. I'm the Griffball logo. <laughs> Prove that I'm not. 
Our I haven't won any awards. Logo. You're arguing yeah, think... this in the only place where the actual person from the Griffball logo could be. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Isn't, isn't that actually Jeff? Isn't no, that he's me? Griff. He's Griff. That's not Griff. That's the Griffball logo. What do you mean that's, that's not Griff? What you just showed was an example of the guy who was the logo, and now you're showing us the logo with the guy who is the logo in this call, and you're going, nah, that's not him. <laughs> well, wait. So if you That's like you get on a conference call with Jay West, you're like, prove that to you. Yeah. No, no, no. It's getting in a conference call with Jerry West and saying, prove that's not me. <laughs> Like, Jeff okay. is here right now. Every other place on the earth would be a better place to make that point. <laughs> right now. I, I, think, uh, I think it's salient, so we'll just agree to disagree. I will, say, I will say, in your defense, you were the best griffball runner in the world for a brief time. For a brief time? Uh, yeah. Brief yeah. time. It used to yeah, be me, and then, uh, and then I met you, and I uh, had to retire. Well, when you, say, when you say you're the one that was there before me, the bar is a lot lower. I didn't, like, I get what you're doing, but I feel like that really chopped the legs out of the <laughs> brief time that I was number one. Let's not anyway. chop Griff's legs off, please. No. Point six. I didn't pick, make, publicly make fun of the rebrand. A lot of people got jokes <laughs> off, but not me. A lot of people. Saying not things sure, about not Red sure what Rooster. it is you think you're doing now, but all right, great. No, I'm just I'm saying I did not. I think Jeff asked me how I feel about it. <laughs> how, how, I don't. Uh, how do you? Yeah, Gavin, exactly. I'm Gavin. Yeah, ask me how I feel that, about yeah, it. I'm uh, arm's distance on this one, bud. <laughs> ask me how I feel about it. Anyone? How this do you get you closer to the cock? I think this is. A, I think it's a great logo that uh, makes me it, it makes me excited and happy to watch content. Is how I okay. Feel about it. It's awesome. <laughs> Still honorable. I did tweet one joke about it, but that was a tweet. Twitter doesn't technically exist okay, anymore, so, so I don't think that this actually Okay, counts. so you didn't make any jokes about it except for the one joke you made about it. And then yeah, but also it, what you're currently doing right now. Okay. No, but that was a tweet, and as I said, tweets don't exist anymore, so I think I get a pass on this. I appreciate your I also your did it to the company. Still honorable. It's really important. Number eight. Paid for shipping from the store. It's it's shipping costs a lot. I'm in Canada. Things cost money. First off, you idiot. Any that one goes, of us would have sent that to you for free. Yeah, and that just you're just paying a shipping company. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like I'm that's, like, that's how not much helping I love. Rooster Teeth. It's not, people people. I, by the way, people think that Rooster Teeth is like taking all the shipping money and keeping it. It goes to the sh it goes to handle shipping and handling. No, my point is that <laughs> that's how dedicated I am to our show in this company that I would pay the shipping in Canada as a Canadian. It doesn't do well, anything stop doing for us. That's well, the what, definition what? The of, of working. Selling of a button? Here's here's where here's where here's he, mm, I wish you hadn't put number 8 in. Cuz here's the problem <laughs> to the DHL all hands they'd be really happy with it. Well, yeah, the, that, FedEx is gonna FedEx is gonna promote you to MVP of the year. I'm, UPS all hands is still roasting Andrew. They're wearing his mask and making fun of him. It's fucked up. I'd rather you work smarter than harder and just say, "Hey, I really want to support us with a sound button. Can I have? Can you send me one? I since I helped invent it, and absolutely we would send it to you." Well, yeah, it's not that I don't think you'd send it. I just I like to listen, especially at this time. I was buying all the merch because I wanted to. Because I'd never been part of a show and I was excited about it. You know what, Andrew? Here's what I'm going to say to that. I'm going to walk my criticism back. Because sitting here thinking about it, I buy stuff from the Rooster Teeth store all the time as well. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not in Canada, so it's way cheaper to get it. That's what I'm but saying. But I do, I do buy stuff and pay full U.S. shipping uh, probably once a month. To be clear, I'm not saying it's their fault the shipping is the way it is. I'm in Canada. It's far yeah. away. I'm just My point is, is that's how determined I am to support the show. I'll pay for shipping prices for a thing that I work for. All right. That's the intent of it. Number eight. Number nine. This would be the first legitimate trophy win for face. I think it looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty, pretty beautiful to me. Isn't an alleged scam like other award shows? <laughs> I'm not saying other award shows were a scam. <laughs> it's an alleged thing. I feel like we gave a company money to give us a silver award and, and say we're second. I don't, and we didn't get a trophy for it, but <laughs> it's a fever dream. It's an alleged scam. And this would be first legitimate win. I don't think we've won, in my opinion, a legitimate trophy. Is face? I could be wrong about that. No, have I don't we? think we have. We got a silver place medal along with eighty-seven other sites. Can a can a show win an employee award though? 
Uh, well, I, I would well, win it because of my presence on the show because it's the only thing I do here. So I feel like it would be right. a f face. Award. I agree. I think he's an emissary uh, of the of the production, and uh, which is yeah. why and the he lack of yeah. child kickings is important. I'm representing. So Eric, Eric, is he closer to the nomination in your opinion? Not, not with fact. Not after fact nine. That could be any of us. That's that's saying like uh, Nick wins. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. you know that doesn't. I would be happy about that if any of us won. To be clear, what I, if it's think, between think, you and Nick and Nick wins? Yep, are you going to be? Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you, Jeff. No, I'd be if Nick wins. Yeah, over me, hundred percent. Nick, love Nick. Nick. You got my vote, buddy. I think I think we <gasps> might have you. to nominate Nick. But that wouldn't be for, for face because Nick works on all the F brands. That's true. That is the problem, Nick. Uh -oh. I, I, he isn't as narrowly focused as I am. Yeah, yeah but I'm a part of most of those F brands, so I, yeah, it's Jeff, still Jeff, a win Jeff for me. Jeff started like his own podcast and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I couldn't help but notice that uh, that was in the feed. Hey, let's deal with the PowerPoint at hand. <laughs> and it sounds like someone went back on their vote. <laughs> hey, let's deal with the PowerPoint at hand. Okay. And then we can get into that. Okay. And the last point, there's a little slide or two maybe after that, but the last point, I think this is the one that's most powerful. Some of you do not seem all that convinced so far, but I think this will really bring you over the line. How can you continue to deny this beautiful face? How can you say no to this? How can you say no to that? <laughs> is that you wearing That's your me face? wearing my face. <laughs> I will say the face is a little snug. As a big-headed individual, it was it's it's a problem. It's got the face it doesn't problem look. The, the nice thing is up top you've got room for more thoughts. There's yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it's not very full, though, that, that space. It's why pretty is, vacant. Why is the top of the head completely empty? Uh, it's because it was... Listen, I was choking out my nose, which, thank Christ, it's unbreakable. Because if it was, it would have shattered in a million pieces trying to get this head I piece I like that on. this is the first picture of you that I've seen since we started this podcast. <laughs> That's I not know, true. Same. same. That's I've, not never true. Seen, I've never seen the facial hair in my life. I've heard about it. That's not true. Oh. I sent you beard photo. Uh, did you? Listen, you don't fucking remember the arcade. You're not going to remember the fact that I sent you a photo. Uh, of he's, anyway, he's got you there. You also 10. don't remember that you you recanted and said that you were totally fine with us posting it on the f face channel. That I did. <laughs> yeah, you no. didn't remember it. No, you totally right. said. No, it. Oh no, you were you weren't there, Andrew. It was after you left. Oh, okay, I he said it, it to me and Eric. We both heard it. We remember. <laughs> uh, it's a little bollocks. And he just uh, doesn't, you just don't remember. Okay. Number Final 11. slide. Pant 2023. <laughs> <laughs> bringing democracy to the democracy or company that is always talking about how important it is to have the support of the community yet they have no say in these cock trophies going out so you know if they you, you feel i've made some salient points as a listener as a watcher feel free to uh to support my effort in winning a cock award in 2023 thank you so much so eric when you nominate someone for this uh cock thing do you have to justify the choice to anyone? I mean, you probably like write like a little blurb. It's not like I've ever nominated anyone. You haven't? Why? Why would I? I should be winning them. I don't need to nominate anyone. Yeah, he can't <laughs> nominate himself and who yeah. else deserves it. What am I going to write? So Eric, great job. Like, what am I going to do? Make a 12 slide PowerPoint presentation about why I should win an internal award? So uh, if my boss, which is uh, you, yes. doesn't want to nominate, he only wants to win. Does that mean no one beneath him can win? <laughs> I don't I don't have to necessarily nominate you. Other people can nominate you. Yeah, Gavin, you could nominate Andrew if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, or we could all can... agree to nominate Nick. Exactly. We can all nominate Nick. So, wow. I'm so, okay. Okay. That. Yeah. I love Nick. And that that's my <laughs> that's my presentation. Let me ask you guys a question. Let me yeah. uh, Andrew, uh, first off, Andrew, I think it's a phenomenal presentation and Thank you. Thank uh, really good. If I wasn't already uh dead set on nominating Nick, I would you would be in the running. I agree with that. In the running of all employees who are currently work at the company. You would definitely be one of them in the running. <laughs> uh am amongst amongst the others, you would definitely be in in that mix in some small fashion. Uh I think I but I think it's I think it's awesome. I here's here's my question for you. And I'm not recommending we do this, but it, uh, the thought popped into my head when we were we were talking about the Cockbite of the Year Award, and you were giving us our, this thorough presentation. Mm -hmm. If we were to have our own award that we not we hand out at the end of the year, and I'm not saying that we should do this because this is a bit that Rooster Teeth has done in the past. The podcast had its own awards years ago. We made a dumb trophy with a beer can. It was a whole thing. But if we were to have a 
Face Award, what would it be? Like a potato mm. of the year? <laughs> I thought you meant what would it like be rep- physically represented as, and it's just uh, your melted Cosmic Crisp in my head that was in the fridge. For would it be like a bag like of bag. Cosmic Crisp? <laughs> bag of <laughs> the melted, the melted awful Cosmic Crisp would be the trophy. I think it should be that picture of Andrew wearing his own mask, but in like a crystal. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh. Yeah, kind of like, like a bronzed or silver kind of like plaque kind of thing. Like those. Cool. Those things you get at the mall where it's like, it's like inside the, oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Like that. that would be real bad. That'd be real cool. Well. This ad is brought to you by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Kickstart a fresh fall routine with HelloFresh. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver everything you need to cook up a tasty meal right at home. They do the hard part, and you get to take the credit. When it comes to options, honestly, more is more. That's why HelloFresh's menu includes 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. A busy fall schedule doesn't always leave you with the time to spare, and with HelloFresh, you don't need to spend all evening in the kitchen to whip up a wholesome meal. With their quick and easy recipes and 15-minute meals, you can get a tasty dinner on the table and less time than it takes to get takeout or delivery. HelloFresh is such a fantastic service. I love the food. It's always delicious. It's fresh. The recipes are easy to understand. Um, but just because they're easy, that doesn't mean they're 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 lesser than in any way. They are phenomenal, regardless of your skill level. It's just such a fun experience, and you get delicious food. So I would highly recommend that you check it out and go to HelloFresh.com slash 50face and use code 50face for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50face and use code 50face for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you ever find that just as you're trying to fall asleep, your brain suddenly won't stop talking? Your thoughts start racing right before bed or at other inopportune moments? I find that happens a lot to me, especially on a night where it's super important I get a lot of sleep uh, or just get well rested. Um... It's I don't know if it's an anxiety thing. It, it, it could be all sorts of different processes. It doesn't happen always for that reason either. But just sometimes it's tough to shut off. In my experience, I found uh, working through those thoughts can help as well as like rain sounds is something that works for me. But everybody's different. And it's uh, a process that I imagine most of us go through. It turns out one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk them through. Therapy gives you a place to do that so you can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace. Therapy is something that uh, has helped me tremendously, as I say every time I do these, because it's true. Um, In ways that's unexpected sometimes, I've had uh, areas in my life where I felt like I had a pretty good handle on things, and then in the process of seeking professional help, it has given me perspective that has completely reshifted my thinking of, of what actually I'm struggling with or what I'm going through. Um, and without that, I, you know, it's tough to, when you think you have a shoulder injury, but it turns out you have a knee injury, but you've been treating the shoulder, like it's tough to actually heal what's wrong. Um, so I'd highly recommend the experience to anyone to give it a shot. Uh, and if you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. It's entirely online designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash face today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash face. So you put your show in the feed, huh? What? So you put your show in the feed. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. They say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission, but some of us find it's easy to ask for both. Huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I, uh, uh, I'd like to say that I didn't have anything to do with that. Would you like to say it because it, it, you couldn't say that? Like, or, yeah, or that's what you're saying. Tr- I'd you, like to say that. Hey, I wasn't involved in that decision. I would like to say that. That doesn't mean you're the not. Real, the real face move was obviously in the episode where, we, where it was funnier to not do it. You know, I totally agree. It was funnier to not do it. I'm right there with you. And I'd like to say, I would, I would like to say that I wasn't involved in the decision to go back on that. 100% want to be able to say that with you. Eric's right not now. saying anything. 
<laughs> what do you want me to say? I said, hey, do you want, hey, Nick said that we want to uh, upload this because it'll help numbers. Uh, how do you feel about that? And Jeff said, yeah, go for it. Huh. Okay. But <laughs> the point still stands. The point still stands. I would like to be able to say that I didn't say that. I just right. can't. I, I respect can't. that a lot. But I want to be able, I want to be able to say I listen. Hey, someone, how about this? Uh, how about this? Gavin, Andrew. Uh huh. This is your old pal, Jeff. You've known me for more than half of both of your lives. We've been friends for a very long time. Big time. Uh, Gavin, I've known I've known you for um, going on two decades now. Maybe maybe yep. cl close to twenty years. Oh, actually, more than twenty years. I've known you. I've, is that right? No. How old are well, you? Well, we we met we met in two thousand five. Yeah, it's been a, it's eighteen years. Um, and I knew you online a little bit before that. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, please. No, no yeah, I'm so good. sorry. Oh, I so feel bad. Oh, I made a uh oh, I, oh, oopsie. I actually oh. might be mad at Jeff now. I might be on your side. I now. wish I hadn't done it, but oh. I did. Okay, this like, changed the past. Uh, just, Forgive Jeff. <laughs> Wearing headphones for that made me feel sick. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> that may have been the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna and say this is why I never apologize. Yep. Now can, right. now let, let me say I, I will I will say this is this is more mine and Nick's doing. I apologize. However, you know, I, I'm I'm looking no, out I, for the well being of the F brands when I'm I'm here to manage and everything. A as as a sort of peace offering to you two. Is there anything that you guys would want to put in the RSS feed? That As a standalone oh. audio oh. clip in the feed? Yeah. No, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Um, uh, the, the feed is called F Face, right? Right. And uh, mm -hmm. when we talk about all these other podcasts, like John yep. Reisinger's podcast, Jeff podcast, uh -huh. brilliant. Obviously, you do want to promote them. We can even, you know, talk about them in the, in the episodes if we want. But putting them in the feed is a bit weird. It's not F Face. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a good Stop. point. Stop. Sorry. I, I put feel something so in the feed bad. that is it. It's going to alert on everyone's phone and it isn't the thing they subscribe to. Now, Gabby, in their defense, you two did angry. this and it went very well. You two just threw an album out on people's <laughs> devices. True. And Nobody was mad it. about that. Everybody, no, everybody who had iTunes was fucking. Big fan they woke that. up to a free U2 album. They were happy as could be. Yeah, it took me about like eight the, years to shake that thing. It kept resynching. We're kind of. We're kind of like the YouTube of, or the YouTube of podcasts. Right. We are the YouTube well, of podcasts. Well, no, you. It would be you. This is a you, you and Eric. You too. Decision. No, you but there's say, no way. There's no way Larry Mullen Jr. was into it when they did it. Yeah. <laughs> so like that's like I get it. I get it. Gavin and, and their defense when in the story that Jeff just told, they brought up that it might do good for numbers, which is not. I don't. You know, maybe that wasn't a consideration when he voted. Yeah. I mean, no. I thought this. of that. Yeah, but no, not our numbers. But. I just thought, what's more f face than bringing it up to a vote, <laughs> voting against our best interests, and then and then me going back and then uh, <laughs> doing it anyway? Uh, that's a stretch. That's a little bit. A that's reach. a pretty. That's a pretty fucky f face, huh? No, that's mm, not really. The thing is, is but, the, I've always trusted the vote. I've always felt like the yeah, vote. You gotta trust the vote. You gotta trust the vote. <laughs> hey, Gav, how yeah. about this? How about this? J just yeah. in case we're not clear. I'm sorry. No, okay, we're Do good. Do you forgive <laughs> me, Gavin? Can I... You mean so much to me. You're such a close friend. You've been there for me for the last 18 I... years. You mean the world to me. You're the, you're the best friend name? I have on the planet Earth. The last thing I want to do is upset you, so please no, okay, forgive we're moving on. me. Can I share something really cool with you guys? Like, a legitimate... This, yeah. this blew my mind. This person, I think, who shared it with me... Doesn't even they, I don't feel they made this connection, but I got a tweet from someone. I'll put it in here in which they went to the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame and they found a, uh, a Zimmer at the Tampa Bay Rays. He's a retired number. Don Zimmer retired by the Tampa Bay Rays. One of the only players to be retired, have his number retired by the Rays. What year was the franchise founded? Wait. How the fuck is Jackie what? Robinson? Well, I mean, I guess well, he's not retired throughout everyone. baseball. That makes no, yeah, that makes total 98. sense. 98. 98. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> the Rays were founded in 98, and Don Zimmer had his number retired by a team that was founded in 1998. So that's crazy. Does that mean we're Tampa Bay Rays fans as a no. podcast? No. <laughs> no. Because, no, because so that. were the Diamondbacks. Yeah, but they didn't retire Don Zimmer's number. Oh. Hmm. That's true. 
Why did it's they retire the dumb... his? Because he was the coach. Why did they retire Wade yeah. Boggs? I don't know. I don't know anything about baseball. I can't comment on the other ones. But uh, well, listen, they made the 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 bear, the Zimmer bear, was for the Rays, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, clearly, he was an important figure as either a manager, or whatever, or coach. Is that the same thing? Manager and coach are the same. Yes. Baseball, yeah, right? yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They, yeah. They are. Sorry, I was looking up Wade Boggs stats where he played two years for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays, nineteen ninety eight and nineteen ninety nine, and then retired. He came. You know why though? Because he grew up in the Tampa Bay area. And so he wanted to end his career there and help launch the franchise. So I think it was like a okay. lo local hero makes good. That's cool. Kind of thing. That's why they retired it. I just thought that blew my mind. Like I saw, I was like, oh, that's awesome. Like Don Zimmer loves Zimmer. And then seeing when the Rays franchise was created, it's like, what a coincidence. That's wild. 1998, last good year. <sighs> last, last good, good year. year. 2013, a possible entry into that. Po possible, possible entry. Oh, uh, by the way, by the time this comes out, this will be the th what, like the week of thirteenth. We'll have the uh, ninety-eight movies and music will have come out. Um, so we are wrapping up the summer of ninety-eight with the movies and music that everyone will be able to um, hear us debate and listen to. So yeah, hopefully they're not too frustrating because obviously we can't show any of the films or play any of the music. Right. But I did feel like they were really fun and good recordings. Just oh, you to... enjoyed them? Yeah. I'm so glad. I, was, I did. I, was, I had a lot of fun making them. I just wasn't. You, know, you never know. I'm excited for the like what the next thing in, in, uh, is. We do after that. I guess we're gonna do like the winter movies of the winter of '98, right? Yeah, we could do a winter '98 thing. That, I'm, uh, I'm I'm feeling about. like like Jess and Erica were saying. I'm kind of feeling 2013. Oh. I just want to mm. see if there's anything there. Well, okay. let me th let me throw this out because I put uh, I just posted this in the Slack or, or in the Discord. I went to eat lunch at Home Slice today, which is a pizza restaurant in Austin, and their menu is devoted to '88 Home Slice, fresh for '88 suckers, big time to the max. Most definitely, I am so sure. So mm. good year, good. Me I'm so let me throw '88 into the mix. I like '88. Nice puffy jacket on the lady in the on the. I was there for like seven months of it. <laughs> <laughs> 88 feels like a uh, kind of like a holdover year uh, to me where it's just sort of like you mash it all in with like the, the late kind of like that late eighties. I mean, I guess the only thing that really I remember was uh, that uh, Kirk Gibson at bat. That mm. was, that mm. was 88. Yeah. So, I mean, you're the one who brought it up. I'm just saying. So, yeah, yeah, no, I just I'm finding it interesting that other establishments, you know, we talked about that Creed tour or whatever, and, mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm starting to see other people embracing previous years, uh, other establishments and businesses, and uh, I like it. Was like it you, that. Andrew, that you were talking about Mario Party, and then we we uh, yeah said we should potentially do a summer of Japan '98 because different well, shit would come out. <laughs> I got really excited because I, I was like, what games came out in '98? And I just googled oh. video games released in '98. And Mario Party was on the list. And I was like, holy shit, that's perfect. That's awesome. I can't believe that came out in 98. And so I talked to Eric about it, and he immediately crushed my dreams and saying it came out in, like, January of 99. And so I guess it, it was summer of 98 in Japan, or just, it, it was, like, <laughs> December 98 in Japan. And I love the like idea a month of or two. <laughs> the next season being the Japanese summer. <laughs> the <of> Japanese <laughs> summer you know what, though? That's maybe the best thing we could do. Because that's a way for us to truly experience a 98 <laughs> that we didn't have access to. Yeah. That might really open up our eyes because it's not only, it's like, what was the other side of the world doing while we were watching Snake Eyes? <laughs> what, what year did Hong Kong Don't get given back? Don't bring Snake Eyes into this. You didn't even... Mm. I'd like to think that they were also watching Snake Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric, just in on in your honor, I put Snake Eyes in the uh, thumbnail for the new uh, Summer of 98 movies. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. <laughs> it's a really good thumbnail. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. No, no that problem. was great. <sighs> Don't. It's not even on the. <laughs> I found a thing. Another thing, by the way, you know how I'm not a talk to me guy? Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm also not a guy that says stateside. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Never felt What's... the need to to use that one. In stateside. what context? I'll see you stateside. Oh, well, is that not a well, thing that's said here? No, mm, no, no. Not we're really. all, we are, we are stateside, so we don't have to say it. <laughs> I guess you don't. Yeah, if, yeah. I might start strange. saying <laughs> I might start saying kingdom side when I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the th you never mm, you're not separated. Have you ever tried? I guess maybe Dan. If you and Dan are on different like areas of an airplane and going from from Europe to the <laughs> U.S. 
or I guess any other location to the U.S. See if stateside would work. What? How many scenarios do you are you able to use that? Well, that one specific moment in the air when one of you is, if you're in the (laughs) one person's in the front of the plane and one person's in the back, one person could be (laughs) side, and the other person could be kingdom side, right? That'd be about it. That's true. There's a transitional point there where it's pretty immediate. It's like see you next year on New Year's, like that joke. It's the same type of idea. Mm. I was saying this is an idea I had, Jeff. I was thinking about time zone lines. What is like the the largest is if there is is there a borderline that has a f- multiple hour time zone difference? Is it possible to stand in the middle, have half your body be in one time zone, the other half like obviously you can do that, but is there like a multiple hour? Could you throw a ball in one hand and then technically catch it like two or three hours later in the other hand? Oh, uh, maybe we should do like an hour long home run or something. <laughs> Well, Jeff, with dingers, you could you give some range on that. Or you order a pizza where it's where it's free after a certain amount of time has passed, but you, oh, as the guy's giving it to you, you just back into the other time zone. He's like, ah, oh. Gavin, that's the best life hack you've ever brought up on this show. I like that a lot. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Uh, l- hold on a second. I might have an answer okay. for you. I- I'm looking to see if anything looks close enough where they all kind of like cross, but I don't. It's tough. It doesn't look like anything's like, well, maybe in like that, that French Polynesia area looks like you, but that's pretty, you know, we're looking at it on a map. It's not really, it's pretty tough. What's that shit happening under Spain there? Is the bottom of Spain in a different what the? time zone? I don't know. So that means it's, it's like straight south of England, but there's two hours of time difference. That's insane. I've never seen that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure. Time zones are confusing to begin with. Yeah. I mean, not very confusing, but just confusing <laughs> enough in the way that like they're all cut up. I, okay. When I look at this map, I come to the conclusion that we all as a society are just playing make believe. <laughs> Here's <laughs> just pretending that you Here, just you're just figuring that out. I'm just figuring that this is this is madness. This is ridiculous. Here's this the closest. Here's the closest I can do for you. So okay. there's a there's a place called Baker Island. And then very close to it is another island called the Line Islands, or a group of islands called the Line Islands. And there is twenty; they are twenty six hours apart in time zone. So if you like, uh, you could uh, I don't know start juggling on a boat in uh, in the Baker Islands, and then go to the Line Islands, and then finish juggling twenty six hours later, but only take the but it's only the 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 boat ride. I was trying to explain that concept, I think, on a podcast once, where I said because it's twenty six time zones yeah and there's 24 hours in a day that a calendar day lasts on the earth for 50 hours but i don't think anyone agreed with me (laughs) i i agree with you okay i yeah i would never fight that (laughs) right but i also wouldn't get on board with it (laughs) why not you can have a 50 hour day you You just gotta keep moving yeah, I don't think I don't want to keep moving. I did that flying back from Japan where you like chase the sun and you just go like, oh, this I feel insane. <laughs> like where it's just daytime for like so long, like so long. And uh, it like makes you feel sick physically. I don't like it. Yeah, you, you land before you took off and then you have yeah. the whole day again. Yeah, it's not it's like not a good feeling. It's like, oh, you make up that time. It's like you certainly don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did that once and I went to I flew back to Japan and went straight to VidCon. Like I, I was up all night. Well, I was up all day in Japan and up all night on the plane. And then I landed that same day, was up all day. And then I was just at some like open bar event at VidCon. And it's like, how is it? St- it's, it's been Saturday for like 47 hours. <laughs> wow. Is there anything that is better globally in the summer? Like something you can Well, see? summer isn't, summer isn't global. <laughs> Stop. <Okay. laughs> but if you were in, in like a <laughs> I'm thinking about what was that surf documentary? Jeff, you, you fucking you know the surf do- where they chased the summer. Endless, Endless summer. summer. Endless, Endless summer. Endless summer. Yeah. yeah, that should have been easy to remember. It was really, yeah. it's, it's very I it's mean very they weren't they weren't being literal with it. They were just traveling around the world surfing. Yeah, but, but like I feel like they're chasing like the hottest time of year in that region, were they not? I think they were chasing locations more than anything, but sure. But but okay. you know what? Well, yes, listen, we'll say it yes. It sounds for like you. I didn't take anything away from this documentary. <laughs> Cert- certainly, you didn't. No, they they surfed with a. Uh... Anyway, I was gonna just say like what what would be like a thing you could chase? Like what is a funny like ice cream? 
like endless ice cream. I feel like ice cream is better in the heat. You just keep falling the hottest time of year around places like what would that path be? Swimming's good. I like swimming in the cold too. I think swimming is just fun. No. <laughs> you like swimming in the cold? No, well, it's not. not I'm not going to opt for it, but it's like not something I'm not opposed what, to. Well, you could die. You, if you're swimming, swimming, if you're swimming in the cold, it's because the plane crashed or the boat sank, and you're <laughs> trying to tread water until you get rescued. I'm not hopping out in the middle of winter. I'm just saying when it's you know and it's like not super cold out. There's nothing wrong with a little. Swimming. I think I think this is a regional thing. I think that your idea of cold and my Texas idea of cold are probably very different. That would yeah, absolutely, hundred percent true. Hey, speaking of cold and water and stuff, I had a I had a thought the other day I wanted to ask you guys about. Would you guys take a boat around the Earth? Like, would you circumnavigate the planet in a boat? Yeah. Uh, well, how long does it take to do that? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, okay. time's not an issue. The government has agreed to give you two years uh, to 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 make the journey, and they're going to pay for it, and all expenses are paid, and they're they're paying your mortgage and your rent and everything. You just have to do it, and it should. I, I have no idea how long it takes, but it yeah, but I don't. Years. I still lose two years of my life having an adventure and seeing the entire world. I wouldn't say that's losing anything. I'd say you gained a hell of a lot of experience and perspective. And I don't want to uh, do anything for two years. So the answer is no. <laughs> two straight years. I don't know that it takes two years. God damn. <laughs> How I, long? Okay, I, go, I, already, no, yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. Two-year cutoff. S- sailing around the world takes three to five years. It can be done incredibly what? fast. The world, the world record is 40 days. On okay. average, most people, when sailing around the world, need about three and a half years. So would okay. you do it for three? So I know you don't want to do it for two, but would you do it for three and a half? It really depends no. on the boat for me. Would you do it in 40 <laughs> days? 40? No. <laughs> What are you doing? So it sounds okay. like the answer to this question is no from uh, Gavin. <laughs> well, it see it sounds really boring. Do we get Wi-Fi in the boat? Yeah. There's no Wi-Fi in the sea. That yeah, you, got, you've got, you said it was boring and it made Jeff mad. Uh-huh. No, I didn't mean mad. What if it was hmm. like a cruise ship, Gavin? It's a cruise ship and you, you have so you got like satellite spend, internet. Yeah, yeah you got, you got Starlink everything. or whatever. You've got it all. You would be bored on a cruise ship for circling the globe. I feel like I'm I'm the opposite of a water adjacent guy. Like I want to be in the stuff or nowhere near it. I don't want to be on a boat for forty days. Sounds miserable. What if they drag you from behind on a little inner tube? <laughs> yeah, a couple hours a day, just co- not for forty whole days, just a couple hours a day, just so you get in the water, you get your wa- you get your fill in the water. I wonder what the longest that someone has been in a tube towed by a boat, like the longest. Dude. <laughs> like throwing sandwiches to you and stuff. I wonder what the deepest ocean anybody's ever been towed in a speedboat like that is. <laughs> like what? Like has anybody ever gone like skiing in the middle of the Atlantic, a thousand miles away from any land? <laughs> I I asked the question because I was thinking about it the other day. It was on like TV or something, and I thought, yeah, I would definitely sail around the world. And then I thought, and I think Andrew asked the question uh, briefly. We glossed over it. But that got to thinking in a big boat, and I was trying to figure out how small I would go before I was like, this is not worth it. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like if you're on a cruise ship, that seems pretty safe. But if you're on the cruise ship, on a cruise ship in the middle of nowhere and it starts to sink, you're just as fucked if you're in a sailboat and it starts to sink. You're a really long way away from land. And then I started to think about the go-go now day and how uncomfortable I felt when we were mm. in deep ocean. And how far, how we were an hour and a half away from land, and how shitty that made me feel in my tummy, and that got me thinking maybe I wouldn't do it. And I was wondering if y'all would, because I, I, it's one of those things that I thought instantly, of course I would do that. And then, uh, and then I thought, oh shit, I may be lying to myself. I might be terrified of that. Yeah, I, I, I felt it, the same way when we, when I had to, uh, I was swimming with sharks in the Bahamas. We had to boat out to a bigger boat that was just out in the ocean, and it was shocking to see how quickly all the phone signals gone. Like you can still see the land and you've got no bars. And then we were just going in a boat for about half an hour into the middle of the sea. And the guy driving was like, I'd never met him before. Like, he could just he could just club me in the head and throw me out. Yeah. How there's would anyone ever really, know I was there? There's something really funny about the fact that you're leaving to swim with sharks in your moment of terror is when the cell phone signal drops. <laughs> That's scarier to me. Because <laughs> if I got stuck there, I'd be screwed. I swam with the damn sharks. It was fine. At least on the bright side, if you and the sh- if you and a shark get into it, it can't call for backup either. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just love the idea that Gavin loses cell phone reception. He's going to swim with sharks and he's looking at the boat captain be like, I don't know if I can trust this guy. You're about to go swim with sharks. Okay, would you get into a boat with someone you've known for three minutes and have him drive you out into the sea for like 45 minutes? Apparently, I would, I would do it with a dude who uh, we don't speak the same language and the engine's on fire the whole time and smelling like gasoline. True. Yeah, I, I carpooled with a guy I met on a flight from San Antonio to Austin. <laughs> so yeah, but you did. <laughs> you were in a car on the roads yeah. with other people. No, but I didn't. My phone didn't work that entire time. I didn't. I didn't have <laughs> roaming. Somebody could. Somebody could knock you on the head in a car just as easily as on a boat. <laughs> Oh, I'd argue maybe that. even easier. There's a lot of empty, a lot of empty We're, land I'm right between next to Austin him. and San Antonio. He can do it at any moment. But the thing is, in a, in a car, on a public road, he's got to consider where he's going to dump me. Oh no, in the middle of the sea, he can just yeah. deflate my lungs and shut me down. I'm done. It's true. So you're saying that there's more dumpage in the sea than Easy. The oh, it's not more dumpage. It's just the idea of it is more alluring because there's, it's such easy dumpage. Because I think people dump way more in cars than they do in boats. Have you guys ever looked into how many people die and disappear in national parks? No. No. Yeah, there, there's no law enforcement in national parks. And so lots of sketchy shit happens out in national parks that just goes unreported or if it's reported, goes unsolved. National parks are real fucking dangerous because of that. But the law still applies there, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're, uh, just like, He's I'm just saying... That. You said that in such a great way. It's the wilderness. Yeah, yeah, it's, like the the ocean of the, it's the ocean of the land, the national park. <laughs> Walking up to a park and just seeing a sign that says, the law stops here. Adventure. <laughs> Jurassic Park, maybe? That's probably a place where laws don't apply. Mm. All sorts of shit happened in there. It is, what is the... I mean, if you said, if you called someone in a national park with an emergency, the police would try and find you, right? People would come. Like, is there a place where... If you tell them where you are, they just shrug and go, we can't help you. Yeah. Mm. Any, any, anybody who doesn't leave when a hurricane is about to destroy their city and it's been evacuated uh. and they get, and the, the governor or mayor will get on the news and say, if you don't evacuate, we can't help you. First responders won't be able to get to you. Yet thousands of people along the Gulf Coast do that every year. My brain went to Hall of Mirrors. That's a real <laughs> tough place to find someone. That's there it. you go. It's going to cause a lot of property damage. <laughs> uh, I've never been in a Hall of Mirrors, but I've seen them in movies quite a bit, and it seems very confusing. What Would if we all pop on a Panton mask and all go into a Hall of Mirrors? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. what, would you be more afraid if we did that in a Hall of Mirrors or a National Park, Andrew? Uh, Hall of Mirrors, for sure. I'm, I said National Park. I think I meant National Forest. Oh. Is what I actually meant. Well, I apologize. I'll, I'll get, I'll clarify whatever it is when the next episode of Saul Right comes out in our feed. I'll listen to it then. <laughs> uh, Figure it out. Yeah, it's for it's for example, national parks usually forbid hunting. National forests allow it. It's like all all bets are off in national forests. Can I uh, can I put something in the Saul Right feed? <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you want? Put you know what? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I would I would absolutely love it. Anything you want. Uh, can I just <laughs> can I just give you the the audio file and you have to put it in the feed? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, why not? Hey, uh, I, I know we need to wrap up because uh, we're, we're getting about long. Uh, however, I would like to leave you guys with a thought, something to something to maybe work on uh, in okay. from Homework? between now and next week, and then maybe maybe the audience can uh, have interest in this as well. I had this idea the other day when I was uh, I was thinking about what to cook for dinner, and I was at I was at the grocery store and I was looking at beans, <laughs> and I saw kidney beans, and I thought, I wonder if you could build a human out of food named after human body parts. Ooh. So I started to assemble what ah. I could come up with. I've got kidney beans, I've got artichoke hearts, oh. I've got elbow macaroni, I've got lady fingers, and I discovered there's a brandy infused chocolate truffle called Nipples of Venus. <laughs> So we've got nipples, <laughs> fingers, elbows, hearts, and kidneys. We just need to come up with the rest of a body. Do you think we could do that? Do you think there's enough? Do you think? I, do you think there's enough food named after body parts that you could fill out a human? But like chicken I, legs are out. A chicken leg would work. Why not? What about chicken breasts then? Because now we're just putting together other things. Oh, well, maybe you would do like 
Maybe you would do turkey breast, chicken leg. I'll put so oh, one animal per part. There's that bit yeah. on the, if you're eating an artichoke and you got the leaves off, there's that bit between the leaves and the heart called the beard. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Ar- that actually might not be called that. It's just what I, <laughs> maybe it's just what I, call, <laughs> what I called it as a kid. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look that up. What about Is there an artichoke <laughs> beard? I go to head cheese and uh, ears of corn. Ooh, oh, ears of corn, ears is, of corn is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Of corn. What about what about cockavan? Head cheese. What's what? That's say, the award I'm trying to win. That's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, yes, it's it is. I think that they're. Mm, oh, oh, no, um, no. There's no artichoke beard. Okay, <laughs> how do you how do you feel about this potato skin? Potato skin's great. Great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, once we actually get this person built, they got to have something pumping. Blood orange. Blood orange. Oh. Dude, that's so good. Dude, that's what I'm... Yeah. Muscles! Muscles! <laughs> that's amazing. See, guys, we've let, we made so much progress already. We're like, we got, we, we're like 40% yeah, of the I way towards a person. Cool. Yeah. So I kind of like this. Should we eventually, once we got all the ingredients, lay it out as a yeah. human uh, yeah. anatomy I, 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 and eat it together? I think we what? should. I do. What do you mean, you what? Know, you know how like sometimes it. sometimes people like trashy people who think they're being fancy will eat sushi off a naked lady? Like <laughs> what if <laughs> I think I've ever seen that. it's I see it on like reality shows all the time. Uh what if we uh what yeah, we just like sit around a big table and we just eat a person in food. Spotted dick. Oh, Spotted God. dick. Clam. <laughs> what? Did you say clam? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> that works. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Rump roast. <laughs> Rump roast is great. <laughs> Rump roast. See, look at you guys came up with so this many that idea. never even crossed yeah. my mind. That's amazing. Uh, see, this is. Ah, oh, I love it when we when an idea comes together. Nuts. <laughs> oh, Nuts! Oh, in my head, this is just there. turning out to be another crazy game of Operation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, maybe the uh, you think on that and see what else you can come up with, and I'm sure the audience can uh, can send us their suggestions as well. Oh, hey, um, September 29th, 10 p.m., uh, we are doing Sloppy Joe's Bingo. So tune oh, in, awesome. 10, 10 p.m. Central, tune in. Is there a T-bone in the body? Mm, human T-bone? Human T-bone. Yeah. Do we have a T-bone? Human T-bone. Looking it up assume, now. I think so. 206 bones. I don't see any of them necessarily <laughs> being T. Okay. Not cut, okay. Cut down the center vertebral axis of a human, split the backbone, and then separate out a section of lower back, back muscle, and that would result in the equivalent of a T-bone. Oh. Gross. I don't know if that counts. Gross. I don't like that. This is fun. I it was fun. I uh, seeing you guys again. I missed you last week. Real zazzle. I think next time, Andrew, we should read off your list of musics again, because I enjoyed that last time. Okay, we could do that. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. We can continue the zazzle streak we got going, these episodes. Since um, it was summer of 98, Emily was saying we should put it all on a CD and sell it. What? Oh, I like that. So CDs were a thing in 98. Yeah. Right, but I, you I, want us to put the music on it? No, put Andrew's 75 no. fucking lines on a CD. Oh, I thought you were telling us to put our playlist on. <laughs> no, I'm like, we no, no, can't no. sell other people's music. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Good. No. <laughs> just wanna yeah. s- That's a bad idea. I just want to sell Andrew saying 75 stupid things. <laughs> one, one comment I really enjoyed from the most recent episode that came out is that Jeff said we're, we're, off, uh, we're off fruit. We need to turn towards vegetables and be a vegetable podcast. And then apparently Jeff listed like five fruits. <laughs> You know what I listed? I listed shit like tomatoes, uh-huh. and they're like, yeah. and they're like, that, if it's got Cucumber. a seed, it's technically a fruit. So I looked up list of vegetables on Wikipedia, and it says some vegetables, which are botanically fruits, such as tomatoes, are still considered to be vegetables in the culinary sense. Huh. And so, Fair play? so fuck y'all. How about that? <laughs> yeah, get them. <laughs> You go, to, you go to a store and you go to buy a tomato, it's going to be in the vegetable aisle. I guarantee you. Yeah, I, fair point. Oh, yeah. You got them real good. I know, no no, no reason to get pedantic about what is, what, is com- what, what is commonly referred to as a vegetable. Right. We would never get pedantic on this show. No. Thank you. No, it's I not agree. what we do. 
Would you like a dog if it had a handle? What the fuck? End the what? show. What is happening? <laughs> I, I like what? You mean like a With suitcase? A like you could pick what it up like this? a suitcase? Well, I've seen a lot of dogs wearing like, some, you know, wraps around their body and on top is a little handle for like small dogs. But I, th and I thought, what if the shoulder blades just went really high and then a bone bridged you, across and then, you so know, it's just like normal fur and skin. Do you think asking, if a dog combined with a GameCube, would it be better? Is that a sensible <laughs> question? I, I was just wondering whether I'd be weirded out by the dog if it had a, a natural handle or whether Doesn't that would be I, awesome. Isn't that the scruff? Oh, yeah. No, but you can't, you can't get your hand all the way under it. Yeah. Do Not like you a GameCube. think... <laughs> Because the the way we have dogs now, like like our sweet little Henry, the way uh, we have dogs. <laughs> well, the way we have dogs now, it's it's through it's through uh, hundreds of years of selective breeding, right? Like if you look up what an English bulldog looked like a hundred years ago, it's very different from what an English bulldog looks like now, uh, because they've been bred uh, to to achieve that aesthetic, right? And that's the case for almost all dogs. So, do you think if you put your work, if you really put work into it? Do you think you could breed a handle into a dog? <laughs> uh, I think you'd be re relying on some pretty hefty mutations there. You'd have to just keep uh, an not, eye out for a dog with massive shoulder blades and then breed and wait for another one. I'm not saying that you would do it quickly. You know, I'm yeah. not, it might not even be something you do in your lifetime. But if you started today, maybe your kids could get there. And, and imagine it, uh, imagine it th like thick, like a pelvis. So it's not like a weak bone yeah. that has a bunch of joints. It's just like a right. solid piece. Of, and you can pet the top of the handle if you want. And you can also yeah. use the handle. It needs to be a strong handle because if it breaks off, you can't glue it back on. No. You can pet the top of the handle and use it <laughs> as a handle. <laughs> yeah. Or like you can that. pet you under can... the handle, you know. Put... You got... <laughs> oh. <laughs> like belly scratches for a handle. That's nice. Can we end this now, please? I'll be honest. I thought Eric would have more input. No, being I, this, tiny, I, I, shitty little dog guy. I, I like, I like the idea. I think a little bit, but also picking up a dog by a handle that is the dog. I'm not a big. I don't think I it, really like by that its handle, not a hand. It's, it's just, it's like its leg. Yeah, it's no, handle. I know. I just don't think that. Like, I think we have that, and it's the scruff, and we just. I don't pick up dogs like that. You're not into it now because we have. It doesn't exist yet. But once yeah. it exists and people get used to it, it might become very commonly accepted and maybe even sought after. No. <laughs> no. All right. I could imagine it in Fallout Five. Yeah. That feels Ooh. like a good place for it. Handle yeah. dogs in Fallout. When does Fallout, Fallout yeah. Five come out? I don't think it's even announced. So yeah, probably like twenty forty two. I guess yeah. we have to. Well, we're getting Starfield in a couple of days, right? Wait, well, yeah, tomorrow. Right? Yeah, tonight. Uh, I think it's not out today. I tried I'm not to in the loop, but I don't know whether to be excited about that. Is that going to be good? Do people think it's good? I think it's going to be good. Oh, Just, sweet. I don't personally think Bethesda makes a lot of bad games. Like, aren't, I'm aren't they always good? Yeah. Uh, wasn't Fallout seventy six a big jumbo turd? Did you ever play it? It was fucking fun as hell. I people didn't still, like it at launch, it. but uh, people love it now. Like they yeah, do a lot at, of work. At launch, it's, it's, good. It's, it's fun now. I enjoy it. Is it fun with people or fun solo though? Both. I, think, I play solo. I think both. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a go. Yep. It, okay, it's well, one of those games that seems to have come back around. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening to this podcast. <laughs> uh, if you liked oh. it, subscribe. And then I think that's it. Uh, there won't be any more So All Right on this feed, but you can go to So All Right's feed and listen to whatever Gavin puts <laughs> over there. Yeah. If suddenly and there's something over there, it just know Gavin did it. <laughs> and listen, feel free to listen to the ones I do too, because I'm also putting content out on the Soul All Right feed. Right. It's I will not just say, Gavin. Jeff, I, I really enjoyed the first episode. So, all right. oh, I thought it was really good. Thank you. You know, so I found something, I th something interesting. Uh, three people, I'm not going to say who they were, three people the day my new podcast launched reached out to me to congratulate me and say, hey, that, that's really cool. Really loved it. Or congratulations on your launch. I hope it goes well. Three people out of everybody on earth that I know did that, and none of them were in this podcast. Thanks for listening. Well, I just, well no, I just, well, I was, I was, I'm an honorable man. I didn't listen to it yet. But I, I, I also haven't listened to it yet. But, you know, I'll find it in, in this feed. We, we already Mango cut. Street. We already quit. We already cut. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, Major League Fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of F Face. Jeff is the best at ad reads. Panton is playing Starfield. Gavin gets cocky. Let's talk about houses. Jeff cooked up some faces. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of F Face.